so I'm back with another video today and again a very requested one um, this is my toy collection so as you can see I've got a very interesting way so what I'm going to be showing you today is all the toys I have for my dogs he's already pinched one <laughs> so we have my miscellaneous slash future box we have the very exciting box which is Rain's and we also have Darcy's box so I'm going to be going through where I got them from, um, different toys, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy. So the first box I'm going to be going through is Darcy's box, and <laughs> Rain is so excited because he just loves toys in general, <laughs> as you can see. Darcy has a bit of a collection going on. She is the biggest pain in the bum because she chews through her toys like mad, so I have to be quite um, careful with them around her because she just chews right through them. But we have a couple, we should only be able to have one at a time with her. But yeah, so first toy, as you can see, he's very excited about it, is a Holy Roly. Um, I got this from local pet store to me. You can get them anywhere pretty much. Any agility type um, toy makers or toy sellers generally have this. Mine cost me um, about six pound. Um, as I say, it was really good, it was really cheap. I've got a couple of these now, and they're a firm favourite, so I'm gonna let him play with that. Um, next one is one I got from Swag at Crufts, so it's kind of a tradition now. Um, every time I go to Crufts, I have to get them a Swag toy. So this one was very like, oh, it just screamed at me. I was like, I need it, but it was very pricey. I wouldn't normally spend this kind of money, um, but it was 21 pounds from Swag. And yeah, so I really love it. It's got the nice um, sheepskin, ball in the end, bungee. This is like Darcy's go-to type of toy. Generally, I like to have ones with um, something on the end so I can throw it a bit better and my aim's a bit, a bit better. That was Darcy's um, Swag toy. Next one is a bit of an old one from Jornick Leather. <laughs> Rain really likes these. It's a ring shape with a um, Kong squeak air ball in the middle. He's trying to tug it as we speak. This one is from Jornick Leather. I can't remember how much it was, but it's a lovely little pink one. And I really like it. She's not normally a fan of like the ring um, shape, but she seems to like this one. It was quite a uh, popular one. As you can see, it's had a little bit of wear and tear, but generally it's held up quite well. I have one of my favorite toys. Now this is like my number one um, recommendation if you're getting a puppy because I just love this toy. Rain absolutely loves it. This is from our lovely sponsors, The Dog House, and it's one of their squid toys. And I just love this one. Um, it's so versatile. <laughs> I like having a long chaser. Um, it's really good for puppy. You've got all the movement going on down here. And yeah, I just love this toy. It's really nice. And Rain absolutely loves it when he's playing with it. I also have two more swag toys that I got secondhand from a friend. Um, these are lovely long chasers. I only paid like six pounds for them, but they're generally a lot more expensive. But again, they're a really good toy. And <laughs> I love chaser toys, I must admit. Big fluffy's really handy to have, especially when you've got young dogs. So we're on to the last two of Darcy's toys and this one is another Jornick Leather one. I got her it for her birthday and yeah, so it's again similar design. This is generally her like go-to toy. Um, she loves this kind of toy. And yeah, it's just got the sheepskin and the ball. So that was about £15 from Jornick Leather. Last but not least, I've shared this on a haul recently. Um, this was one I got off Amazon, believe it or not. I can't quite pronounce the name of this brand, but it's Dingo something something. So if you want to know where it's from, just give me a message and I'll send you a link. But yeah, so I love this one. It was £13. Um, the bungee's not too bad, so it's a nice toy. Really like it, really well worth £13. And the ball on this is like really nice to size, so that's the last of Darcy's toys and we're gonna go on to Rain's toys next. So now we're on to Rain's. We've got a lot of toys in here because he generally looks after his toys a little bit better. He still chews them but he's still a, a bit of a pain for that. First one is again Holy Roly. I like to have these toys because they're really handy to have. Um, you can attach them to things as well. So if you've got like fleece, like plaited fleece toys, you can attach that to it to make it chaser or whatever you want to do. Um, they're a really good one. He's just spotted his little bunny. Um, this is just a cheap toy, but I like to put it in some of his chaser toys because it's got a squeaker and he loves it. So you can get it then, you can get it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Holy Roly again, six pound. We've got another one. <laughs> this one's a little bit more well loved. Um, as you can see, it's kind of destroyed. They don't last very long with my dogs, but these ones aren't doing too bad, the bigger sizes. And you can probably tell by now I've got a bit of a problem because I seem to collect these type of toys. Um, another Jornick toy, again, I really like them. Really nice one, I got this one from Crufts I think it was. I think this was one I got from Crufts. I can't remember how much it was, it wasn't majorly expensive. 
We also have the miniature version of that toy, so a smaller holy roly, um, not quite as small on the fair bit, but yes, yeah, so this was one I got from Jewel Neck Leather again. He really enjoys these type of toys. Um, I quite like them because you've still got the balance, but you've also got the chasing element of this bit. Because sometimes I think for young dogs, um, a ball in the end can be a little bit daunting for them. Because if you're anything like Rain, when he goes mad, he whacks himself in the face with the toy. So you just got to be careful. But yeah, these ones are really nice. We also have a bit of a noodle problem. <laughs> Never drawn like leather. I can tell I've got a bit of an issue, but they are really nice and affordable toys. Um, so yeah, so this was from Jewel Link Leather, really like that. This was from a chaser toy, I had to um, cut the bungee off because it was very well loved in the end, but I wanted to keep it as a little like bite bar, um, good for puppies. I don't like to just get rid of toys if that makes sense, because I think they, you know, if you can make use of them still, <laughs> he's so proud of himself. And we have the same one as the noodle one I showed you from Amazon that Darcy had and I just got it in Rain's colours because I couldn't resist. They had his colours and um, I couldn't resist. Also another noodle one, um, this was actually a shower mitt that I bought. Um, it was like £1.50 from Aldi or something. Uh, I couldn't decide at the time if I was going to use it as like a hand drying mitt or a natural toy but I just roll it up and used it as a toy, like a bit like the bike bar. We have some... Um, Fleece plaited toys. Um, the first one, which you can tell, has been very well loved since it's got here. Um, this is from Jesse's Mad Toys on Facebook. Uh, this one cost me five pounds, believe it or not. Rain. Stop. I wish you could see his face. So this has a bit of a milk liner, a nice bit of um, like faux fur plaited fleece as well. So I quite like this toy. Um, he loved it as soon as he saw it, and it's just a really nice one. It's got a lot of like durance to it, if that makes sense. We've also got um, some more fleece toys. This one is from Bo Peach Tugs. It's been very well loved since he was a puppy. Um, I think it's about seven, eight pound maybe. And this one I really like because it had a little bit of um, rabbit skin on it. So that's really enticing for a dog if they don't normally play with toys. If you get something with like rabbit skin or sheep skin, um, it can just give them that little bit more of a peak of interest. Lovely toy that we got from our sponsor. This was just one of their fleece toys. Um, it wasn't originally knotted like this. I don't know how it's ended up like this, but it has. And it's a very loved one. Um, as you can see, I really like this because I like to attach it to his holy roly balls. Um, it's good to be able to, if you're in a quick fix and you need a tug toy, it's a really nice one and it's a good one for puppies as well because it's nice and soft on the mouths. Another one, <laughs> I have a problem. This is a toy I originally used with Rain when we started training um, at our club. So he'd play with toys at home, wouldn't play with toys at training. And something that my trainer taught me, getting something with food inside. And this one I found at Pets at Home. I think they do still sell it. I got it for like £3 in sale, I think. This is a small size. I kind of wish I got the bigger size though. I think I'm going to get the bigger size if it goes on sale again. Um, but it's got part of like the holy roly bit and then it's got like a um, solid part. So I just put some fish treats inside there and what that did was it really enticed him and I could still throw the ball out and I didn't have to have him relying on me. So if you've got a foodie dog, really recommend these. Another very well loved puppy toy, again a swag one, swag chase, so it's got a chuck it on the end. Um, yeah, there's not really much to it. I think this cost me like £12 maybe. Last but not least for Rain's toys is again a very well loved one. He seems to be able to hang on to his for a bit longer than Darcy. She normally chews them before they get dirty. This one, it, it did look a lot nicer when it came to us. It's just been like played with tons, but I got this as soon pretty much just after he came home and this is what decided his colours. Um, so it was very nice when I first bought it. I can find pictures. It's from Udder Dog Toys and I got it in one of their auctions. He loves this toy, honestly. It's like one of his favourites. He's not playing now because he's not in the mood. So <laughs> he really likes this one when he's playing out or when he's doing some training. And again, this design is just such a win with puppies, honestly. So that is all Rain's toys, so I'm going to go into the miscellaneous box now, which is kind of um, a couple of puppy toys, uh, yeah. So we're on for the final box, um, I've got quite a few agility themed toys, which is kind of a problem, but I get I just seem to get worse and worse as I get older. Uh, this one was, I bought it off a friend, it's from Touch and Grab Bean, um, used before, but I didn't mind that, I'm saving it for anything in the future. I quite like the little pink um, design, again, 
chasers are really good and usually prefer bungees but this is really nice for young puppies it's not going to be the end of the world so i have the full gang with me now because they all couldn't resist all these toys i have some noodle toys with me and this one i bought off amazon i got it in a set it was basically like the mop heads you can probably tell from this bit but i got it for like one pound fifteen a set and it was amazing um Again, you don't have to buy really expensive tuck toys, especially for puppies. Uh, so if you can look up um, noodle mop heads, then you're onto a winner because you can find loads of these real cheap. I got this one from Crufts. I got one for Rain and you might recognise it. I got a purple one for Rain when he was a puppy. And yeah, I just couldn't resist picking up another one. I really like the pink as well. This was just a cheap one from Paul's Trading. My brother got given it for helping, bless him. Um, and we're saving it, but this was really nice for the pups when they were younger. Just a little sheepskin on a little, like, woven. Also got this toy, again, it was really well loved. Darcy loved it, Rain absolutely loved it as a baby, as you can see, he really still loves it. Rabbit skin and a little mini holy roly on the end and on a bit of webbing, but I love the colours of this one. It's so cute, it's got like the pink and grey and then it's got the baby pink rabbit skin. Um, I'm going to keep this just because there's no point getting rid of it because it's still usable um, and I really like that one. That one was from Just For Dogs and I think it's about £7 or £8. Pound. I also have another um, sheep sing tugger, my brother bought it for me, bless him, it's from, just from Tug Enough. Um, I can't remember how much it was though but yeah, Darcy loved it, Rain loved it and I just like these kind of toys. Moving on to some more um, fleece toys, I've also got a whole load in here as well. We have this one I got from a show. Uh, it's just got a like rugby ball holy roly on the end and then it had some fleece. It was much nicer when I first bought it, Rain seemed to love it so much and I had to like repair it but yeah so it was really nice. It's a lovely stretchy one and I love the colour combination on this, it's red, um, like a turquoise and a purple and I absolutely love that colour combo. We also have this one from my sponsors again, they are so good with toys, I love them. This is just like a little fleece one, plaited, I love the design of it, it's like really really fancy and I love these little tassels on the end, it's really good for puppies. Um, He's just helping herself to toys. Darts. This one is a really nice, sweet one. Uh, again, these tassels are just amazing for puppies and I highly recommend them. Also have a combination of um, fleece toys in here. We've got quite a few in here. There's also this one with a handle. These are just really handy ones just to attach to toys when needed. I think pretty much that covers all of our tug toys. And I hope you enjoyed this. My dogs are going to go crazy now because they want to play with all the toys. I hope you enjoyed watching my collection. As you can see, I have a very bad problem and I don't need any more excuses to go shopping because my dogs have plenty of toys, but I will still find an excuse, so. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see, hope to see you all soon. So thanks, bye.